Today we're going to be putting on the CPP Mini Subframe Assembly on the 67 Nova. Just so you know, this video is not sponsored by them. Anyway, let's go over each of these parts individually. Left lower control arm assembly. Right lower control arm assembly. Cross member. Wheel alignment cam kits. Lockout plates. And all the 716th hardware to install it. So since that's everything on the part list, let's start on the first step. Well, actually, I just read through the instructions and they're pretty vague. So I went to their website and found the actual instructions with some basic photos and I'll probably be following that. But since this kit is pretty basic, I think I can make my way through it without following most of the instructions. So let's begin by opening up the lower ball joint. There you go. It's a lower ball joint. All right. And inside the package is a bit of hardware. Three of each of them. So let's begin mounting it. Something like this. Okay, so it took me a minute to figure it out, but what I think you actually have to do is, it isn't super clear in the instructions, but you might be able to see that there's an opening there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the boot off. I have to take this off first, and then put this through and put the boot back on. And it can just go through like that. Yeah, that's, that's a lot, that looks right. Okay. And then that just pops right back on. Yep, that looks, that looks right. All right. All right. So next step. What bolts go where? There's six holes here. There's three bolts. All right. So looking through the documentation, it looks like these three bolts go through these holes. And from your cross member bag, you take out two bolts and you put them in there. So let's just put these bolts in. Larger bolts just go straight across from each other. All right, you are a number 13. This older kit comes with metric hardware. Well, that's the first one done. I'm gonna go around and snug them all really tight because suspension. All right, I got them both on now. Just one more thing. Make sure in the packages that uh, these came in, you get the crown pins out of them. I threw the other bag away and had to fish out of the garbage because I didn't realize the pin was in there. So make sure you don't lose the crown pins. Anyway, we're gonna now move on to putting on the cross member. All right, we're down here on the floor putting the cross member in. Okay, so I'll line something up like that. What I'm doing is putting three bolts in, one here, one on the other side, I don't know if you can see that. And another one in here. All right, I'm just gonna put them on temporarily with just nuts, and then I'll put the washer and lock nut on when it's being held up by the air screws. <sighs> Doing this by yourself is not most fun. So I would suggest having someone help you, but I don't feel like calling for help, so I'm just gonna do it. All right. Now I can just put the rest of this hardware in. We're just mocking the suspension up right now, just so you know, so not all the hardware is in on the radiator support. Actually, if you want to know how to put the radiator support in, there's a, at the uh, end of the video, I'll leave a link so you can go watch that then. Okay, so I have all the hardware installed on the cross member now, just all loose, so it's still able to wiggle around, so I can get the control arms put in. I didn't put the lock washers in right now, because if you can look, I can't actually fit the lock washers on to the bolts. And since we're only using this to mock up the suspension, I'm going to leave them off, and in the future, when we permanently install it, we'll put some longer bolts on so that we can use the lock washers. Because for some reason, the kit doesn't have bolts that are long enough to hold on the lock washers. So now I'm going to go put the lower control arms on. Alright, we got the lower control arms in here now. They were quite a bit of a fight to get in there, especially this one. But now we're down to the last step, which is just tightening down all this hardware. Remember, this hardware doesn't have lock washers on it right now. 
because we're just mocking up the front suspension. All right, I got all the bolts tightened up now, meaning that the cross member is all in place now. So that's where we're gonna end this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time.